right, here's our video drape system. This is one of our brand new products that we just debuted at the DJ Expo in Atlantic City in August of 2012. Uh, we have two 4x8 panels. We have one here already unfolded and laid out on the floor. And we're going to show you how to assemble the entire system. So we start off as we see here by laying the system flat on the floor. And next we're going to insert steel rods through the border so we can hang our straps and hang this up on our pole which we have suspended here from two crank up stands. Now you'll also notice that our video drape system does come with borders on two sides those are where we put the rods through and two sides are unfinished meaning they don't have a border. That is where you're going to connect two sections together the part that is unfinished and the part that is finished you can hang straps through the top section to hang it from the top and also put straps along the side to hold the drape tight. You can also expand the system and if you need to join parts together that have a border you simply fold the drape back there are slits through the side of the of the drape of the corner drape the finished edge where you can put your clamps through the join pieces together and we're going to show you that as well. Next we're going to show you how to attach your straps which are going to support your drape. You're going to hang it on a truss or a bar or a pole or whatever kind of mounting you want to set up. Now when you orient your straps, you want to have the clip facing the top and this other ring facing the bottom. This other ring is if you hang another section of drape below it horizontally, you have another clip point. Now you'll notice on your strap, on the opposite side of another clip here, there's a loop of the material here. And what we're going to do is we're going to insert a steel rod through the curtain, through this little cutout slit, and we're going to put this loop in that cutout slip. So this is how we do it. We have our rod, put our rod in, and we catch it through the hole in our canvas loop right here. Get that in there like that. And then we get that through our curtain on the other side. And now we've got one in. Now we're going to work our way to the other hole to get our second strap in. And there's four straps on here. I've already done two of them just to save some time in the video. So here's the second strap again. Orient the clip facing up with the rings facing the back side because this is the top of the curtain. And here's our loop. Get our rod through. There's our rod. Put it into our clip and get the other end into the curtain and there we go. Okay, once we have our bar in and we've got it going through our canvas loop, we've got our strap with the one piece hanging down in case you want to clip another piece. We have a ring here and we have our clip here. So we're simply going to get this up on our bar, put it around the bar and then clip it and as you can see, I put my arm through there. That's how your drape is going to hang. So let's put that up around our bar right now and see how that looks. Okay, now we're going to hang our first piece of 4x8 drape. And I'm just going to grab my straps here. I'm going to catch this over. Catch this onto the ring. Now normally, I would suggest doing this with two people, but as you can see, one person is capable of handling the smaller size drapes. We get our second clamp on. Next clamp two, clamp four. Let's slide this down and even it out a little bit. Okay. Now, we're going to get our other piece up, and then as soon as we do, we're going to show you how to connect it together, but if you want to look here real close, you'll see these rubber boots going right down the side of the drape. These rubber boots are a clamp that we're going to use to attach pieces of drape together. Basically, the, droop, the drape, basically the boot protects the drape from this metal clip, which, you know, can cut into your curtain. There's a clamp on one side with a little metal screw, a little thumb screw. Just take the thumb screw out. 
The other side of the drape has another clamp just like this with little nipples that are going to go into these recessed holes. And once you clamp it on, you put your screw back in and it locks the current together. The next thing you'll do is connect your current together. We have these new tricks type connectors, uh, multiple pin, about 15 pin there. And you're going to unscrew your tops, screw the other end of the cable, and plug them together. And this is going to join your drape together so you can pass your signal through. These connectors are on the other side as well, and they're going to connect up to your interface box. And we'll go over that in just a minute. Okay, we've got our two sections of drape up, and we're going to connect them together. Now, in this case, uh, as a uh, single screen, we have a border on the top. This is your border where you hang your pipes. You can also hang these drapes horizontally and orient your screen either way. This is the border for the horizontal mounting. But in this case, we're going to add these two pieces together. So if you have this in front, this would be covering your LEDs. But very easily, all you do is pull this aside. And if you notice right here in the border, there is a slit or a slot where we can put our clamp through. So if you remember in our previous segment here, I took this boot off, I took out the screw that was right there, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this through this slit, I'm going to take off the boot on this side to expose it. And you'll see there's a slot there for the screw, and there's also two little nipples sticking out on either side here. Those little nipples are going to go into these little holes or recesses so that way it butts together. So let's do that. We're going to fit this through the slit, like so. Okay, there it is, and we're going to butt that up together with our fingers, hold it together so that the nipples match up, and then we're going to get our screw, and from the side that has the slit, which is the side that we're adding, we're going to put our screw in. go. Screw that down nice and tight. And again, make sure that those nipples are definitely in the holes because that's going to help this bracket to line up. And there we go. And now our drape is joined. Our border is out of the way. And when you look at this from the front, this is going to be a nice seamless presentation. Just like at the Expo booth we did at the DG Expo, you can see that this was two pieces of drape together because this is the actual drape we had at the Expo. So we're going to link up the rest of our curtain and then we're going to crank it up. But before we do, I want to show you one more thing. The drape is user repairable. Should somebody, you have this on the ground and somebody stomps on an LED, LED and breaks it, uh, this is in segments. So basically what we're going to do, we got Velcro here that's just going to come away. And you'll see inside, this is the matrix of the LEDs. Now there are screws on the other side where each LED screws in. You can kind of, I don't know if you can zoom in and see the little screw port here. This is where the threaded end of the screw is coming in from the screen side. You would just take out the screws and one of these strips, <coughs> there, there are several bolts to a strip. The strip would just come out. There's some wires down here that you would disconnect that go to each segment. And you just take your strip out pop your new strip in, screw it in, connect the wire, and then you're done. And this is the control port for each section of the drape, and that's where your Nutrix style connectors are going to connect. Let me show you that right now. We unscrew this here, you have your male end, and this is, they're numbered, this is signal input one, and we go to the other side of the drape, if you've lined this up correctly, signal output one. So this is the input, this is the output which means the other side of this drape, the input of this side of the drape, is going to be where we connect our interface, which comes from the computer. And all we do here now with these two connectors, you'll see there's a little notch in the connector there on either side. You just match up the knots, notches I should say, and you'll hear a little click. We do that again. Listen really close, you'll hear a little click hopefully. There it goes. And then just screw this down. And you're done. And that connects this section of the drape to the next section. You have, in, in our current curtain here, we have six of these connectors. If you had a longer length, we would have up to eight of these connectors per section of drape. 
So we're going to finish connecting the rest of this up, and oh. then we'll move on. Okay, so we've got our drape up. Uh, I didn't screw everything down the middle. I left it open at the bottom, but near the top there together. And this is our interface controller. This is how we're going to hook up uh, the interface between the computer and the drape. And this is our HC-102 Easy LED Video Controller. And it is indeed very easy to control the video. You have a signal output, four on each side, one through four on this side, uh, five, six, seven, and eight on this side. And those are going to connect to one side of your drape, the input side of your drape. And again, these are using the Nutrix style uh, connectors here. It's about a 15 pin connector. Uh, you have one other item here, which is power. And this is going to be power into the unit from your drape. Your drape actually has a power cord on the back. Uh, that plugs into a standard wall outlet and then there's a cord coming out of the drape that is going to connect into this power cord which will bring power into this unit. So let's go to the back of the drape right now and hook everything up. Alright, so we have our controller hanging here uh, on our truss and we have the side of the drape that we're connecting everything to. First thing is we need to bring power to the drape and coming out of the bottom corner on one of the pieces of your drape there will be this power connector which is uh, uh, Nutrix style connector again that screws on. This is your standard power plug and we're going to take a ordinary three prong outlet extension cord and plug that in. Now we have power brought into the drape. The next thing we need to do <clears throat> is bring power to the control unit. Now we showed you the other power connector on the interface unit itself and here's the power cord coming from the drape. That's the female end. We take the other end on the controller, which is our male end, and everything is clearly labeled as well on the cables. So we're just going to plug these two together, like so. They just compress together, and now our power is connected. Now we're going to connect our Nutrix connectors of the drape on the input side to the Nutrix connectors on the interface. So we we'll start with number one, and we find number one. Very important that you do follow the numbering because the drape is basically a matrix of sections, and if you put the wrong number cables on the wrong number cables from the drape, your image is going to be all screwed up. It's going to be, you know, the face in one corner and the ear in another corner uh, instead of being one complete face. So there's number one. Now we've got our power to the drape hooked up through our power cord. We've got then power from the drape going to our interface box through this cable here. We've got all our Nutrix connectors hooked up and this is a six section drape. And remember we joined our drape over there to two sections together using the same numbering cables. So it's going to transmit this signal from this section of drape to the next. And it is a modular system so you can add as many drapes as you'd like to and just daisy chain them together. And now the last thing we're going to do, this is going to interface to your computer using this, a Cat5, or otherwise known as an Ethernet cable. And one end is going to plug into your laptop or computer, whatever you're using to control this. And the other end is going to go right here into our control box, right where it says Ethernet port 1. So we're going to plug that in again. Wait till you hear the little click to make sure it's in all the way. Okay. And now you'll see, even if you don't connect the Ethernet port, there is a button right here that says test mode. If you press that, your drape will go red, green, blue, and white and do various patterns just to test all the LEDs. Okay, now when you're connecting your second section of drape, besides connecting up your Nutrix style connector, so that way the signal passes through to each section, uh, you also have to connect up another power cord to bring power to this section of the drape, otherwise your LEDs won't have enough power. Uh, to carry through. You'll get a little ghosting on the edge of this one, but it won't actually carry through. Now, if it's not attached when you get it, there is a power cord. It's a special type connector. It looks just like this, and it's got your standard three-prong connector on the other side. Basically, this corner, bottom corner of the drape is the same as the other side. So just connect your connector, like so. Make sure it pushes in all the way. Screw this tight, connect your power cord, and you're ready to rock and roll. So now let's move on to the software portion, and we'll show you how to get up and running. 
All right, guys, so we got everything hooked up. We got our interface hooked up, our sections of drape are joined together, and we've got power connected on both sections of drape to a standard wall outlet. And we're now going to push the test button on our interface before we send the signal from the computer, just to make sure that everything is hooked up and working. So here we go. Press 1, there's red, press 2, green, 3 is blue, 4 is white, these are RGBW. LEDs, each one, and then we have various test patterns of movement. And again, this is letting you know that everything is up and running properly. Now let's go over to the computer. Alright, so here we are looking at a Windows 7 64-bit laptop that we're going to be running our software from. And we have our Ethernet cable, Cat5, connected to the Ethernet port. We're opening up the name of the software I'm zooming in here is LED Show T9. And when you open this up, you're going to get this little window right here that says LED1. And immediately, you're going to see that. I'm zooming out here on our LED screen. There's our screen, and that's exactly what you saw in that little window. Okay, we're opening up our software. And once you get the software opened up, you're going to go right into this corner here. You're going to right click on LED1 and then click back blank page. Then it's going to change, it's going to say normal page. And from there, you're going to go to file. No, okay, then it's going to say normal page. Then you're going to click on file window. And then you're going to right click and click add video. And then you're going to use the, uh, the Explorer here to navigate your desktop, wherever your videos are. And we have our Pepsi commercial right there. We're going to preload that. And your screen is going to change again and then we're going to go to control C screen management and when you do that the commercial I'm going to zoom in here is playing in this upper right hand corner now you see those little white bars around the yellow line that's surrounding the picture those are drag bars and you can simply grab a bar like we'll grab the corner white bar and just drag it out to fill your screen now I'm going to zoom over here to our video screen and you can see here I'm looking at the bottom square on the middle of the screen where our screen joins together and if we just move our mouse over there to that middle white bar and just drag it down you can see the mouse right there we just drag it and it fills the entire screen that's how easy it is there's no mapping there's no assigning panels there's no resizing and assigning regions or zones or DMX or any of that it's just click the wire frame box the white tabs and drag to fill your screen and that's all there is to it very easy to use the software does a lot more and there is a manual for it and you can read through that and get more familiar with it but we hope that this was helpful in getting you up and running to get some video content up there you can also include external video uh, by using various capture cards for example if you would like to hook in a DJ system for example running virtual DJ or Serato and you're doing a video mix or you want to hook in a video camera or you want to hook up a DVD player there are video capture cards USB ones that sell for a couple of hundred to a couple of thousand dollars but what we found that works perfect it works fantastic is this little unit right here which we got at Best Buy for about eighty dollars it's called the Dazzle uh, this is the pro version it gives you uh, left and right audio S video and composite video in from your external source so you either have to bring your video down to composite or S video the other end here plugs into your computer and then through our software through the LED T9 software you would just navigate to find that card and then you can throughput your video